Starting tomorrow, the shot will be available for Virginians, but only for some folks with compromised immune systems and those with organ transplants. So now the question is, will a booster shot soon be needed for the general public as well? News 3 reporter Antoinette Delbell found out. This Rite Aid in Norfolk has already been getting phone calls from people asking about getting an additional COVID shot. The pharmacist tells me they haven't given any third doses out yet, but are ready to help those who might need it. At 78 years old, Jim Thomason considers himself fairly healthy and is fully vaccinated against COVID-19. But that hasn't stopped him from thinking about getting a boost to his immune system. I think it's an excellent idea. I mean, we get booster shots for the uh, uh, flu, winter flu, and so we get booster shots for a lot of other vaccines, so why not? Starting Saturday, Virginians who have moderately to severely compromised immune systems will be able to roll up their sleeves for a third dose of Pfizer's or Moderna's COVID vaccine. This comes after a CDC's recommendation for the extra dose for that population, but not for the general public. Those people who do not have this condition should not have to panic. VDH Community Health Services Medical Director Dr. Salula Adekoya says protection from the COVID vaccine is expected to weaken slightly over time, especially with the Delta variant. She says it's likely a third dose will be needed in the future, but health experts still aren't sure when. Just be calm, continue those in the mitigation strategies of wearing a mask. We have been very diligent. The FDA has been very diligent, making sure that we're using um, data and science and going by the science that we have, not by the emotions. Still, that might not stop some people from trying. I was trying to figure out how to sign up for it now. Health experts say the extra dose is not yet recommended for the J&J &J one-shot vaccine. Antoinette Elbel, News 3.